<laughs> Hello, everyone. There's lots to do in October in North Baltimore. So a lot. <laughs> we have a calendar of events, of events we're going to share with you. Um, starting off with Trick or Treat at Eagle Landing this Saturday, October 15th from 6 to 8. And on Monday at the library, we're going to have the Wood County Museum coming to do a program on spiritualism in Wood County, or I should say the history of spiritualism in Wood County, because this is what happened back in the 1840s. They, they love to do the seances and talking to the dead. So that should be a fascinating nice. program. <laughs> And then the library is going to host a view and chew at our local theater on October 20th at 6 p.m. We're going to be showing Hocus Pocus 2. So that is a free event and there will be concessions for sale. Yes. Briar Hill is doing their fifth annual trunk or treat event on Monday, October 24th from 530 to 630. And I hear they're going to have hot dogs and other things so you can grab your supper while you're there for sale. Um, we will be there and would love to see everyone in kids and costumes. Um, DS Brown is having a trunk or treat and job fair this year, October 26th from 5.30 to 7.30. They'll have food, games, and a costume contest. And of course, on <laughs> Saturday, October 29th, it is North Baltimore's annual Halloween parade. The parade starts at seven o'clock. And the last few years, the library has been hosting the costume contest and judging that. So this year we decided to set things up a little differently. You can bring your child to either the view and chew from 615 to 715. We will do registration there and snap a picture. And when you come, please have a parent or legal guardian with you so that we can sign a photo release form because we would like to make a slideshow to share on Facebook of all of the kids dressed in costume. So you can either come to the View and Chew on the 20th or to Briar Hills Trunk or Treat, where we'll also be doing registration and taking pictures. And then we will release the slideshow with the winners on Saturday, October 29th, the day of the parade. You can pick up the prizes. And I think we're doing, what, $25 prizes yeah. for the winners? So you can pick up your prizes the uh, week after on Halloween at the library. I think you can still march with us in the parade. If you'd like to join us, um, the library will be marching with the costume um, contestants. At um, 645, we'll meet at the Whistle Stop parking lot. And then we'll just join in the parade and march to the firehouse where they are going to have cider and donuts again. Mm -hmm. So, And there's a float. Oh, yes. And, and I believe golf carts this year. Yes, yes. a new um, category was, for golf carts. Yes, yes, that's what I blanked on. So, yeah, we will have, um, <laughs> there's plenty of opportunities to join the parade. So if you want to join on And a float, if you'd like to register a float or a golf cart, you can pick up a registration here or at the village office. Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Uh, Last but not least. Yeah. Village Trick or Treat on Halloween night from 6 to 7.30. So, um. Make sure you're dressed up and ready to go door to door or get your candy ready to pass out. And that pretty much recaps a busy, it's busy. a lot going on for us, but a spectacular Halloween for all. See you out.